Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. Five interlocking tales tell the story of a group of tired travelers on a desert road facing their worst nightmares and darkest secrets. Two men run from mysterious floating creatures. One of them looks at a picture of his daughter as they drive down a highway. Out in the desert, the father sees creatures stalking him, but he does not tell the other man. The two of them pull up to a run-down gas station. Inside, the men see strange things while the creatures stalk them from afar. While trying to escape, they pull up to the same gas station further down the road. The father, believing that that is what he deserves, refuses to leave the area, and instead he goes to a motel. He enters his room and finds himself at a familiar place. He hears his daughter begging for help and looks for her. He comes closer to his daughter, but she is running away, so that man is trapped in the hallway of his house, suffering in his regrets over failing to help his daughter. Meanwhile, three touring musicians are staying at the same motel. The tire on the van goes flat so they are forced to pull over. While stranded in the middle of the desert, a friendly and eccentric couple offers help. They take them to a house that's far away. The girl hears the woman mention their late friend, but her fellow band members do not seem to notice. At dinner they are served burnt roast beef. The girl declines because she's vegetarian. The girl's two bandmates suddenly vomit some black substance, so the girl gets help. The friends get a white liquid medicine to drink. She confronts her friends about their weird behavior and tries to get them to leave. They say no in a trance and decide to stay at the house. That night, the girl has a nightmare about her late friend who got in a car accident. She wakes up and finds her friends outside by a bonfire, doing strange cult rituals. Her foot gets stuck in a bear trap. Her friends give chase as she escapes and hides in a shed. A girl is approached by an apparition of her late friend. Terrified, she runs out into the road and hitchhikes a ride. A husband talks to his wife on the phone while driving. He accidentally hits the musician, so he dials 911. But he is unable to tell the dispatcher where he is. A certified EMT gets on the line to help. The dispatcher tells him that he should drive her to a nearby town so that he can find a medical facility. He finds the facility completely abandoned, so the dispatcher guides him through performing life-saving surgery. They convince him to reach inside her body cavity and manually compress her lungs, causing her to pass. They all laugh at him so he hangs up. He tries to escape from the hospital but is surprised to discover that all the doors are locked. His phone rings. The voices agree that he did no wrong and tell him to leave. They mysteriously give him clean clothes and a new car, like nothing happened. He was hesitant, but he left the facility and drove away. The dispatcher on the phone watches from a nearby payphone. She hangs up and walks into a bar. A patron gets out of his car. The bartender reprimands the dispatcher for leaving the door open. The new patron enters the room with a shotgun, asking for his sister. Another man who turned out to be a demon comes and starts to attack him. The patron takes the bartender hostage and forces him to drive to his sister's place. There are demons that the patron cannot see coming closer while the bartender takes them through a secret entrance into a hidden room. In the room, he finds his sister. When he tells her that he came to rescue her, she refuses to go. He takes her by force, with the locals chasing them as they drive off. She pleads with him not to go off the road, but the locals are hot on their heels, and he has no other option. That sister reveals that she took out their parents so she deserves to stay in the town. The demons pull the brother out of the car. As the sister drives off, she smiles. A blondie exits the bathroom at freezing over and sees the sister walk back to the secret door. She then returns with her parents to finish eating their meal. Someone in the parking lot watches them leave. Just as they are about to have dinner, three men wearing masks enter their house. As the parents get caught, the blondie hides. The dad realizes that he knows who they are and what they want, so he pleads with them to spare his family. The intruder says an eye for an eye and takes out the mom in front of him. Blondie stabs one of them in the back with scissors and steals the bat that he was holding. She runs away, and they take out the dad. While he is near passing, the masked intruder holds up a photo of a girl. The group takes off their masks, and they are recognizable as the travelers from the first story. As they are leaving, the blondie comes and attacks them. She injures them but the intruders eventually take her out. They feel guilty because they went too far. But it is too late. Outside, the ground opens up, and strange floating creatures float up from below. The masked men try to escape but one of them is dragged down by tentacles from beneath the earth. As the ground behind them continues to crumble, the two drive off. We see the movie end similarly to the start, hinting that they are stuck in a never-ending loop. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos, and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.